Hello and welcome to my channel. So our today's topic is finish lines. Finish lines are important part of marginal integrity in fixed partial denture. What do we mean by finish lines? When we cut the crown for the FPD preparation, here we have to pay attention for giving the perfect and proper finish lines according to which material we are using, right? Poor marginal adaptation will lead to percolation of fluids, okay, and secondary carries. So for a successful fixed partial denture, giving a perfect and accurate finish line is unavoidable. Finish lines are given different according to the material or which we are using to replace the crown, okay? First, we will study the chamfer. Chamfer is basically a word emerged from the carpentry, okay? What do we mean by chamfer? It means to cut away. Right angled edge or a corner is called chamfer. So similarly, something in our crown, most conservative design is chamfer and obtuse angle finish line, okay? It is more than 90 degree. Obtuse angle finish line is created for full metal restorations. And the peculiarity of chamfer is it exhibits least stress. It is prepared by round end tapering diamond and the width of half of this burr is emerged into the tooth and the finish line is created. Now heavy chamfer. Similar to the chamfer but prepared with a diamond of greater diameter than that used to produce the chamfer. Here we have created significant depth than it was in chamfer. It is indicated for all ceramic crowns. And it can produce an unsupported lip of enamel. Now shoulder. We can imagine this finish line as our shoulder also. Okay, It is a 90 degree joint, right? So it, uh, shoulder finish line is also right angled. And it produces a wide ledge which resists the compressive occlusion forces. It requires more preparation, hence it is obviously not conservative. And it is indicated for ceramic restorations. Ceramic restorations basically, they require more of the material on the edges to compensate the compressive forces. So that's why we give 90 degree shoulder for ceramic crowns. It is prepared using a flat end tapering diamond and this is produced by sinking in the entire diamond into the tooth. Now there are different varieties of shoulder. We can also give a shoulder finish line with a bevel at the end, okay? As you can see here. It is shoulder with a bevel on the external edge. And wh why do we give bevel? It reduces the marginal discrepancy of the restoration as it can be burnished. And it protects the edge of the finish line for preventing chipping. It is indicated to hide the supra gingival facial metal margins of metal ceramic restorations. Radial shoulder, it is a shoulder finish line with rounded internal line angle, okay. Radial means it is rounded internal line angle. And the internal angle is rounded using the end cutting diamond and finished with a binangle chisel. It is indicated for all ceramic crowns. Now sloped shoulder, similar to the shoulder but with an obtuse angle. And it is indicated for facial margin of metal ceramic crowns. Knife edge, this is least preferred finish line design. It is a thin finish line and it is highly conservative as the cutting done is minimal and it is difficult to wax and cast and susceptible to distortion as it is very thin, you can see here. And it can lead to over contoured restoration as well and it may be used for metal restoration in adolescent patient and lingual surface of mandibular posteriors where we don't have sufficient excess and uh, on the tilted tooth where preparation is minimal we can give knife edge but it is rarely used. So this was all about it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.